Hi, this is Eric Peacock with Pure with Beauty Fitness here talking about the rapid fat loss. We're on the, the, home the home workout lactic phase. Now, one of the things we've heard, we all know what lactic acid is, the burn, right? But, but the good thing about getting the burn or the lactic acid buildup is when we get the lactic acid piece going, that's going to help our body stimulate more human growth hormone. And human growth hormone levels, when they're elevated, help us to burn body fat. So we talked from the beginning of this program about, if you look in the guide, we talked about one of the big strategies here is to, is to get those hormones that help us burn fat re-elevated, uh, re re-stimulated. So this is the first part of doing that. So we're going to start off with three, three exercises in this circuit, in the lactic circuit. I'm going to take, I'm going to take my feet just like this. I'm going to put my ball on my foot here. I'm going to grab some dumbbells, maybe 10 to 15 pounds, shoulder blades back. And I'm going to press slowly overhead, return slowly to my base. I'm going to pull my abs in, press up, nice slow control tempo, 8 to 10 reps, okay? And if you, one little tip I have for red pressing, sometimes people feel it in their neck. If you feel like you get pressure in your neck, put the tongue on the roof of the mouth. What that does is it shuts down the neck muscles and keeps them from being overactive and putting stress on that. And that'll help keep your head nice and neutral so the, the pressure goes in your shoulders, not your neck. That's number one. Number two is we're going to take a piece of tubing. And I would use a lighter piece of tubing here. Notice how I cross it over like this, at about shoulder height. And what I want to do is anchor my hips down and pull past my hips, squeezing my upper back. And I'm going to pick the tempo up a little bit. This isn't a fast tempo, this is kind of a medium. And I'm coming past here, I'm squeezing my upper back and my triceps as I go past. Now, if I don't have something high enough to, to tie off, I can also do this from the knees too. And I should be pulling the member back. My first move is pull my shoulder blades down and together 12 times at a medium tempo. The last piece is going to be you're going to use about a 15 to 20 pound dumbbell. You're going to grab under here. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to stick my butt out. I'm not going to bend my knees a lot. The weight's going to, I'm going to feel tension back here. I'm going to swing it up with my hips, arms are straight, and I'm swinging it up, pushing the weight through the heels, keeping my chest up as I come forward. And I'm going to go as fast as I can here, and I want to feel a lot of activity in the back of my legs. If I'm rounding my back, I'm hurting my back, so that's why I always tell people, catch with your hips and throw with your hips. Catch, throw, catch, throw. Um, and do that as fast as you can, so we're going to go 8 to 10 reps with the overhead press slow, 12 reps medium with the straight arm pulls, the skiers, and then 25 reps as fast as you can with the kettlebell or dumbbell swing. So if you have a kettlebell, that's the best, but most people only have dumbbells, so we're going to use a dumbbell in this case. You can use either one. That's your lactic portion of the workout.